welcome back to Humble Recaps. Today we're going to describe one part of an episodic thriller movie called, Wild Tales, which released in 2014. There are some spoilers ahead. So watch out. The movie begins on a gloomy evening at George Newbery Airport, Buenos Aires, Argentina, where a gorgeous and outgoing young model named Isabel, is on her way to the check-in counter to get her boarding card for a catwalk fashion show. Since the ticket is provided by a strange company, she is given an economy class seat. On the plane, as she places her luggage in the overhead compartments, a man about her age passes by her, and a strange moment with a sort of chemistry happens between them. At the same time, a sophisticated middle-aged music critic named Salgado tries to open up to Isabel by helping her with the luggage. As the plane takes off and Isabel is drowned in the view of Palermo's buildings, Salgado continues what he started. When he discovers Isabel is a catwalk model, he tries to flatter her with a smart comment. His compliment makes Isabel smile, and she begins flirting back enthusiastically. Their pleasant conversation continues until they reach a common and slightly odd point. Knowing that Salgado is a classical music critic, Isabel reveals to him that her first boyfriend was also a classical music student. Salgado becomes a little curious and asks about the man's name. Pasternak. Gabriel Pasternak. But when he hears it, he is shocked and immediately remembers him. Salgado explains that he was given Gabriel's thesis when he was the head of the music conservatory jury, and his work had been so awful that he immediately tore it up, and he was laughing about it for a while. On the other hand, Isabel, who still has feelings for her ex-boyfriend, believes that what Salgado did to him was a little over the top, which upset him so bad that he had to spend a week in bed. But the latter believes he's done the right thing, and since his responsibility is watching what people listen to, he doesn't see anything wrong with hurting a miserable guy's feelings. As they continue their discussion, a tall white-dressed man carrying a tray, walks through the aisle and enters the cockpit, without anyone being able to see his face. Seconds later, when Gabriel's name keeps being mentioned, Mrs. Leguizamon, an elderly retired female teacher, recognizes the name and after giving it a thought, she is astonished to remember him as one of her former students. She describes Gabriel as a cranky kid who had been crying all day without any apparent reason, and confidently says that she has never met such a child in her entire career. In the meantime, a young man in the front seats, calls the woman's name and remembers her, as his elementary school teacher, which causes her to become even more puzzled. As it turned out, the man was one of Gabriel's mean classmates who constantly bullied him. As the plane gets higher, the number of passengers who are somehow related to Gabriel increases, and a common ground that appears to be interesting at first, gradually becomes mysterious and frightening. Salgado, who is extremely suspicious of the situation, starts a poll and asks everyone on board, if they also know Gabriel, and as he expected, all of them recognizes the name when they hear it. They are all on this flight through a third party and did not purchase their tickets directly. Mrs. Leguizamon won the ticket in a lottery. Some of them have been sent on a work-related errand, and some like Isabel, have been invited on a business trip by a strange company. When everyone realizes this isn't a coincidence and there's something fishy going on, one of the flight attendants reveals something that makes their eyes pop out. The poor frightened woman says that Gabriel is the cabin chief on this flight that had previously asked her out, but she rejected him. Then she bursts into tears and desperately tells them that after the takeoff he entered the cockpit and locked himself in, and since then, the pilot hasn't responded. Which indicates that this scene was the only representation of Gabriel that we were able to see. In this moment, Gabriel's strident voice from the cockpit cuts off the woman sobbing and warns the passengers that a terrible fate is waiting for them. Isabel speaks up and admits that she cheated on Gabriel with his only friend, the same man she had a strange moment with, just before taking off. Which proves that Gabriel's court found everyone on this plane guilty and wants to punish them, simply because they hurt his feelings in any matter. While everyone is waiting to see what will happen, suddenly the plane encounters massive turbulence, indicating that it's been thrown out of the flight path and is diving down to the ground. Among the frightened and trembling passengers, Gabriel's former psychiatrist named Victor, who's only here because he enraged Gabriel by raising his fees, walks up the cockpit to speak with him. The frantic man screams and tells him that all of his problems are his parents' fault, and they were the ones who put him under a lot of pressure by expecting too much from him. He sees Gabriel as a victim, and literally makes his last-ditch efforts to persuade him to change his mind, but to no avail. The plane is about to crash and the passengers go through the terrifying moments before death. Meanwhile in Gabriel's family house's backyard, his parents are shown peacefully enjoying their retirement, until they notice the plane. 
They realize that the plane is heading straight for their house, but they still remain passive, hoping that maybe it will change its direction. However, holding on to this hope is pointless and Gabriel, who appears to be more skilled at hijacking planes and committing suicide attacks than he is at music, crashes the plane into his father's house, and kills all the people who have been in his social circle his entire life, and in addition to committing suicide, he also exacts a harsh revenge. And that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and turn on the notification bell for more contents like this.